Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Kimophone wireless microphone. Let's take a look at what's inside. In the box we have a dual micro USB adapter, a quarter TRS 2 to 1 adapter, a clip-on wired lavalier, an around the ear lavalier microphone, a quarter to headphone jack TRS adapter, two extra pop filters, an audio transmitter, an audio receiver, and a clip-on for the audio transmitter. All right, we're gonna go ahead and install this on our device and test out the recording audio using the receiver and the transmitter. The first one we're gonna test is the clip-on audio lavalier, and we're gonna test out the audio using that. Now keep in mind when you first receive these, you have to charge them individually in order for them to work. So make sure you take your micro USB and charge it as soon as you get it. Now it's also my opinion that if you're planning to use this for, let's say, a camera, you definitely don't want this sticking on the side of your camera, just for safety precaution. So I would definitely recommend getting an extender, such as this one, where you could actually attach it into your camera with a small cable on the side, and then having this somewhere in your pocket or elsewhere where it's out of where it could actually cause damage to your camera if somebody were to nudge it. Now we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Turn on this one as well. And it should automatically synchronize. Let's go ahead and turn on the camera and test out the audio. How's it going? This is Dustin and we are testing out the audio with the Kimafun wireless microphone. We're going to test out this audio. We're testing it now. We're talking into the microphone and we're testing out the wireless capability of the Kimafun wireless microphone. This is a wireless microphone provided by Kimafun. We are testing out the clip-on lavalier of this microphone. Hello, this is Dustin and we're testing out the audio of the Kimophone wireless microphone. We're using the around the ear audio microphone setup. This is a wireless mi microphone by Kimophone. We are testing out the audio on the Kimophone wireless microphone. The audio itself is pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you realized it, but I was actually intentionally making background noise just so like we can see the difference between the snowball microphone as well as the lavalier microphone. I usually leave it up to the audience to decide whether the audio is good or not, just because I'm not an audio expert, but I did want to share my thoughts and how it sounds in comparison to the Snowball. Alright, well my final conclusions, um, which are fairly uh, positive, is that this construction uh, of this connector right here, as well as the locking connection, is a pretty good sign of super quality product. Not to mention that the lavalier itself is actually made of metal, which is very hard to find in a lot of the budget lavaliers that you find. It's got the clip-on uh, capability. It's super easy to connect them together. It's pretty much uh, automatic, so you don't have to worry about it not connecting correctly. You have your audio controls on here to turn it up and down. On and off switch. Micro USB charger with the extra dual micro USB charger, so you don't have to have two cables at one time. And you also have a separate extra cable headset, uh, which in my opinion is pretty awesome because you can use that for different uh, events and venues, so definitely a positive to have that there. Uh, one of the things I will say that you may not have the best battery life uh, with this device because it's not a plug-in. It's definitely going to have to make sure that you charge it uh, or plug it in with a USB charger if possible, uh, but you definitely want to make sure you're careful with that and keep on checking on the battery, th the battery levels uh, the more you use it. But overall, I am definitely very excited about this. I will definitely use it in the future. Uh, and on a second note, I did want to state that you, if you're planning to use this with your camera directly, such as plug it into your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, or if you want to use it into your vlogging camera setup, definitely get one of these extra cables, which lets the camera um, have the cable plugged into it. And then this kind of dangles in your pocket or uh, let's say uh, somewhere on the uh, camera strap or somewhere where it's not going to be uh, budged or hit to where you can mess up your audio adapter into your camera. So I definitely recommend that uh, just for safety. This thing, uh, even though you plug it into your camera, it'll definitely work. If you plug it in there and somebody knocks it, it's possible that you're going to break the microphone adapter itself or you're going to break uh, your camera. So definitely be careful with that if you plan to use it for that option. Well guys, that's my review for today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you are using this or if you have ever used it and you have tips. Feel free to leave it in the comments below as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.